Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, I am going to be discussing about a tool which can be used for annotation of any kind of tasks uh, and it is known as uh, Label Studio. So we are going to be discussing about this and we are going to be seeing how we can install and use it our own Windows system and even you can install it on Mac and even on the uh, Linux systems also. But for this tutorial, we are going to be seeing what are the things uh, that Label Studio offers and it is uh, available freely and you can use it and download it uh, on your systems and install it but by, by just using a uh, pip install or even you can use anaconda uh, commands also so uh, label studio is one of the uh, best labeling tool available right now it can be used for multi-purpose uh, annotating like for a computer vision for any uh, for optical character recognition for time series annotations so there are varieties of uh, uh, things which have been included inside this label studio and it can also be used for video notations so if you go into detail of this uh, particular site of label studio you can see uh, they have covered the computer vision uh, image classification audio detection and in audio section you have con uh, they have considered classification speaker di directions uh, emos rec uh, emotion recognitions audio transcription so these all things can be and so all these tasks can be ended properly in here in label studio and if you deal with text then you have uh, classification and uh, name entity recognition uh, annotations question answering annotations uh, sentiment analysis annotations and even if you go into this uh, uh, time series annotations so you can see classification of time series segmentation of time series and even uh, event recognition in the time series that they have they have covered for annotating a particular task they also cover the multi-domain like uh, dialogue processing, optical character recognition, uh, and the video. In in video, there is a uh, in video. If you see, if you go and watch videos, and there's a time series where you want to annotate it, like which uh, particular thing is has been classified to which particular particular region has been classified to which particular category. So uh, this has been also been implemented in this particular label studio. I think this is one of the uh, better tools which I have looked on to the internet and uh, got an understanding of it. And uh, you can also use it for your domain. So if you have any class, uh, classification tasks or any kind of orbitation tasks, yeah, you can go into the image section and do, do it for you. And you can go for audio also. You can go for text. You can go for time series. So it depends upon the, the domain you're working and what kind of data you work with and what kind of annotation uh, thing you required. So even they have a, a GitHub a, a repository and it is quite maintained and it has been recently updated also. So they are quite active on on this particular annotation thing. So you can see the animations. Uh, there's they are they are marking the things and and writing according to the region. And um, it is uh, it is one of the best tool I can uh, recommend you to uh, use it and and convert uh, your uh, images or even your text into particular annotation. So uh, let's go install this particular thing, uh, this particular uh, Label Studio on our laptop, uh, or even on your Windows, or you can even you, even you can install it on your system with uh, Linux uh, commands. So uh, I'm using Windows, so I will install it on uh, uh, Windows laptop using Anaconda. So let me open my Anaconda, and first we'll set up a particular environment. We'll create a particular environment now. We'll in our anaconda so we'll write a command so once our uh, installation of this particular content environment is done then we'll activate our content environment that we have created and once we have activated our uh, environment we're gonna install the label studio uh, so it's a very simple command we're gonna use a, a pip install uh, to do the installation of this particular library uh, this particular annotation tool so we'll just uh, copy this particular one from this site and we'll just go to our anaconda prompt and just paste it and we'll just run it to take few seconds or even few minutes depend upon your hardware configurations and you will we'll try to install each and everything and it might take few minutes to install so let's we'll wait So our installation of this particular label studio uh, tool has been done. Now just for launching it, you have to just type label studio. That's it. You have to just type this much and start running it on your local uh, environment. So you're going to see it on your uh, web browser in a form of localhost link. So it will provide a localhost link and you can just launch it using that. 
so it is just uh, trying to launch that particular thing and uh, once that is done uh, uh, we cannot we cannot we cannot see the uh, link right over here so you can see uh, it has launched the uh, label studio on our local system now for uh, uh, for using this particular label studio you have to provide a sign up or login id you can just provide any uh, it just uses for the uh, saving of this particular annotations in your uh, local system so it uses that particular id so you can provide any id or you can provide any uh, thing to do it so i am going to write uh, uh, my own id which is uh, this and the password would be anything you can type any password you can create your account and once your account is set up uh, you cannot see this interface so uh, you have to first come into this interface you have to first log into this and you have to come into this particular interface and once you are in here you have to create on this create project you just go into this just type your name i can say sample project you can just give the name of a project then you can type any description you want then you can import data or whatever the data like whatever the things you want to do with uh, uh, like images, text, or audio, or even time series data. So you can you have to import in a form of uh, these formats, which is specified over here. If you are using text, it should be TXT format. If you are using images, JPG, PNG, uh, BMP, SVG, WebP, audio. So everything has been specified over here. You can use this particular format and drag and drop it over here. And you can see that we have. Uh, if you go into this lab labeling setup, you can see we have many kind of uh, uh, templates available over here. So if you go into this uh, computer section, you can see semantic segmentation with polygons, uh, semantic segmentation, segmentation with mask, or reduction with bonding box, image captioning, visual questioning, answering, optical criteria recognition, image classification. So these many categories are being taken care of inside this particular label studio. So you can enter any kind of task within these categories. So if you come into natural processing, you can see we have varieties of annotation. Uh, tasks which you can do properly uh, in this particular label studio if you go into audio speech so you can do any kind of this particular uh, uh, task available in your audio processing even you can use conversation ai annotations uh, ranking uh, uh, ranking and scoring you can also do if you, if you have that kind of uh, 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 task to do so you can do it uh, such a data passing time series analysis and video so you can do all these kind of annotations for your particular uh, data this is depend upon your data like what kind of data it is and what kind of task it is you can just bring it over here and start annotating and then you can even import in your required format also so we'll do a, a quick demo of uh, uh, for text uh, like we will uh, import a text and we'll do a uh, any other annotation over it and we'll import it into a particular format so you can just uh, go to natural language processing so for this particular tutorial, I'm going to just uh, be annotating uh, a text and I'm going to be uh, using entity recognition template. So I will click on this. So once I click on this, it will start asking me the uh, the things you want to do, like uh, the labels you want to set it. So before setting up this uh, label, I just want to import data. So I'll go to the data import section and I will drag a drag off, uh, drop a file, which I've created uh, for a sample. So let me go through it. And let me drop that particular uh, file inside it so if i open this particular uh, file uh, which is available here yeah so if you can see i have uh, taken these two sentences so i just want to label it uh, these particular two sen sentences so i will just bring uh, uh, my particular uh, label studio and i i will open my label studio and I will drag and drop this particular uh, uh, text file into this particular label studio. So I will drag and drop it. And once I drag and drop it, I will just specify this as a list of tasks to be taken care. And in my labeling setup, uh, I have to uh, label a few of the things like uh, I will add labels like uh, it's a city, city label. I want to add city label. Then I want to add a, a country. And then I want to uh so this is the uh, label i just want to do it so if you just take these two labels and just save it and uh, you can just uh, do this way and you can just click save so you can it will save automatically and once that is in you're set to annotate particular data 
So you have imported data, you have set your labels. Now just you have to go into this particular data and start editing. So you can see uh, this is uh, the data I have gave it. So this is a text file and this is the same data you can see. It is available over here. So we can just annotate it. So I will just take click on this particular uh, annotation or uh, on tag and I will click on this particular uh, uh, or I will just set this particular city which is New Delhi and I will mark it as city. Then I will take this country and mark India as a country and then once that is done I have once my annotations for this particular sentence is done I will click on submit then I will go to the next sentence I will do the same for this particular uh, city and for this country I will do the same and once that is done and once that is done I will click on submit so this is how you do the annotation for NER and if you have many sentences many kind of documents so you have to just click on import or even you can go back to this particular setting you can click on this settings and you can go back to this particular uh, uh, label interface and you can change your labels if you want to do it and if you want to change any uh, template you can go to browse template and you can do it even you can create a custom template and uh, once that is done you can have to click you have to just click the save button and you can get back to the project so this is your project again and you can just store it and if you want to import more data so you can click on this particular tab uh, which is import so you can drag and drop more files to this particular uh, annotation uh, environment and you can start import you can start working on those files also and if you want to uh, like if you have uh, done the annotation like how i did the annotations i just want to export this particular annotations to into particular format like json or text so I'll just click on this particular export and you can see there are various type of uh, 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 annotations uh, uh, or saving formats are available. So you can see we can just use JSON, JSON min, CSV format, TSV and uh, Conlet 2003. So if you use any spacey tool or any kind of uh, annotation tool, you can use this particular Conlet 2003 for NER or you can just take the, uh, take the annotations in JSON and you can just prepare your own. Uh, format and do the NER and even you can use save it on CSV format so let's save it in uh, JSON and let's just export it so you can see it has been exported here and let's even see uh, let's even export it to the CSV so we'll export it over here so it has exported the annotation in CSV and let's export it to colonel 23 also so let's export it so we have export uh, our annotation in three formats so let's open it one by one so let's first open the csv one so it will open and you can see it has annotated it has uh, uh, annotated a few of the uh, tasks and it has listed the annotations so you can see the label column so you can see it has labeled uh, this particular call on this particular uh, new delhi as city and the remaining uh, uh india as country so this is what the annotation we have done uh, so this is how you can save your particular annotation in csv format and there are other entities that has been stored uh, with label studio so now let's go to the colonel uh, 2003 format so let's just open it using uh different files uh okay uh, let me open it using notepad plus plus This over here, so we will be open it using Notepad plus plus. So you can see the annotations has been done uh, in column format. Is this so? This is how uh, generally a PC requires. So you can use it, and uh, when you can see this particular format in JSON format, you can see how this is the annotations has been done. So this is the particular uh, thing. Uh, you can save it in in any kind of format which is listed out in the uh, table. Uh, in label studio and then you can uh, convert in your required format of your model and then you can start doing your work uh, which is to that particular task so i think uh, you have enjoyed this particular video this is all about this particular uh, annotation tool if you want to annotate uh, any kind of uh, image or audio you can also use label studio i have just used uh, ner or text annotation just for a quick uh, understanding of this particular uh, label studio and you can also use for uh, many other tasks which has been listed in this particular uh, tool 
So if you uh, like the content, please do subscribe to the channel and thank you.